Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Danica and I'm a part-time reseller on the Poshmark Canada app. I have also sold on Poshmark US. I have also sold on eBay, but right now I'm only selling on Poshmark Canada just because. Um, so this video is a bins haul. I went to the bins yesterday for the first time in so long. The Calgary bins. I haven't been to the Calgary bins since my friend Savvy left for a trip um and that was in like September October somewhere in there so it's been a while <laughs> um that doesn't sound like that long but honestly it was so I went in with the idea that I was going to be super super picky I don't really need to be sourcing a ton right now I'm working full-time and it, the work is crazy right now so I don't really have the time to like photograph and list a bunch of stuff. Um, also, my friend Courtney wanted to go to the consignment store last weekend and like bring stuff to consign. I don't have anything for the consignment store. Everything that I wanted to get rid of, I already brought to the consignment stores like three times. Um, and then what they didn't want, I just redonated. So I don't really have anything like that. So I thought, okay, I'll go to the bins and then I'll get some stuff to bring to consignment. Uh, my bins are flat pricing, a dollar per item. And so there's money to be made by bringing stuff from here to consignment for sure. And even more money to be made to if you buy for a dollar and flip yourself. So the payout at the consignment stores is usually like 10-ish bucks per item, which is not horrible. But anyway, so I ended up with 72 items and that was me being really picky. So let's get into it. Also, the shoes were lit. They, when I, when they first opened the bins in Calgary, they only had one bin of shoes and the bins at my bins are like three feet by three feet. So they're like really deep. So you have to like really dig in there. I know the Goodwill bins, the bins are about this deep and so it's a little easier to maneuver things in there. These ones are crazy. So I don't mind that. I don't mind digging through. A lot of people don't like it and I think people complained because they switched from that to having three racks of shoes which was okay but it was like way less than the bins would hold. and. For, I don't know the quality just like really went down and then yesterday when I went they had two of those big huge bins plus two racks of shoes and like the other resellers that were there were like mm, I don't really like going through shoes I'm like are you crazy I love selling shoes shoes are so easy they're so easy to photograph cleaning them is like not even that like doesn't take that long and yeah the I find shoes give like such a high return on your investment that that's where I focus my efforts a lot of the time even at the regular thrift store I will go through the shoe aisles like five times just because I know I miss stuff so the shoes were crazy yesterday like <laughs> it was so good so let's get into it. I'll show you all 72 items. This video is going to be long, but trust me, you want to watch the whole video because that's how good this stuff is. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up before you go. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite item that I picked up is. And I don't even know if I can pick a favorite right now. I'm sure going through, I'll be like, oh my God, this is my favorite. I think I do have a favorite. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> if you're new to my channel, this kind of um, content is pretty typical. It's just me being crazy. So first, these are also, the bins were pretty picked over, not the shoes. So basically there were those two huge bins of shoes and I was the only one. There was one other person who dug through for a little bit, but I dug through those bins about five times. I had found a boot that I wanted to find the other one with because I wanted to wear them to work. I really desperately need work boots. 
um, a winter boots. And so me trying to look for the mate for this boot led to me finding all of these gems. So shout out to that boot. I never found the other one. They're BOC and they're like really nice boots. But anyway, I kept like putting it down and then refinding it and being like, oh, I found it. And then I was like, oh no, I had given up and put it back. Anyway, okay. <laughs> so first, these Levi's 7-Eleven skinny. Um, they're a size 28. These will go to consignment store. This style does okay for me, but Okay, I don't really do kid stuff, but I couldn't leave this. It's Columbia and it's a 3T and it's in perfect condition. And it's like the cutest little print. It's got a hood and yeah, I just like, I just thought it was really cute. I don't know. Oh no, it's not reversible, but it's super uh, soft fleece on the inside. My nieces have both outgrown that, so. Okay, this is Shein. If you don't know Shein, yeah, you do. It is a um, fast fashion brand based in China, I think. I They are like one of the most despicable companies on the planet. They are single-handedly ruining the ozone layer. They hire children to manufacture their clothes. That's why everything is so cheap. So with that being said, I do pick up Shein at the bins. They're an ethically horrible company. I would never order from them retail. There are exceptions. This is nuanced. I've talked about this in other videos, but Shein has its place. It is, if it's very cheap and they are actually quite size inclusive. So I can't knock that. That if, oh my God, this tree outside is going crazy. Is that the wind? I thought a porcupine might be climbing it or something. Anyway, if you are on a very strict budget, and you have trouble finding clothes in your size, I will never be like, mm, you bought from Shein, gross. Because I know that that is a harder demographic to shop for. I understand that completely. But I will buy it at the bins because I'm not directly supporting the company. I'm keeping it out of the landfill and the consignment stores for some reason always 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 buy it every single time so it extends i mean like the clothes are cute i can't deny that but i mean it was made by a five-year-old that's making 20 12 cents a month anyway it's an extra small Oh, I'm going through this bag, I think. <clears throat> this, okay, these are two pieces. They're the same brand. And like when I go to the bins, like I said, everything is a dollar. So sometimes I'll find things and just kind of be like, this is interesting. I want to bring that home and just research it. So this is what this is. The brand is Trip NYC. Uh, it's Dang Goodman. I don't know what that means. I've never seen this, but it looked very niche so i don't i think this is a skirt and then i also found this but i don't mm, i don't know what's going on here because it has a zipper on the top and i don't have whatever is supposed to zip into it so i think this was a mistake actually because there's no way you can wear that with the zipper like that that would be so uncomfortable although does this have a zipper on the bottom it does Okay, so this actually zips into this. So you could wear it as a maxi skirt or a mini skirt. We love it. Convertible. So it's like a cargo. This is the bottom portion. So it's got pockets. I should check the pockets, actually. Everything gets washed, but anyway. Very interesting. I just thought it was cool. This is just airy. This is going to go to the consignment store. It's an extra small. And it's just like a sweater dress or a sweater tunic. <clears throat> a 
this. We'll also go to the consignment store. It's just um, Gildan. It's just like, I think handmade. It's got a little yin yang on it. Very cute. And it's a small. This is for a birdie. If you know her, don't tell her I'm going to send her this. Uh, birdie is Wild One Co. on Instagram. And she is actually a rep for this brand. It's called Life is Good. And so she's mentioned before that if we find pieces that she would love to have them. Um, so these are just like joggers. I also have a mug for her. So I need to put a package together for her. I thought they were scrubs, but they're not. They're just like, they look really comfortable actually. So those are for Birdie. This is, oh, this is missing a button. But these are like very cool vintage jeans. The brand is Bugle Boy Company. Slim fit, 100% cotton. This is a size 10. That's real cute. Um, there's no way. So I just need to get like a replacement jeans button to put there. But other than that, I will um, list these myself. This is Neon Buddha. This is also for me to list. It's a size small. Neon Buddha usually sells pretty well for me, like pretty quickly. And it's like a little handkerchief bottom dress. What else? What else? This is, I don't think I've ever found this brand before, but it looked really familiar. I need to look into it. It might be a Revolve brand. I don't know. They were trying to sell this for $10 and then they put it on clearance for $5 and then still no one wanted it. This actually only went on the floor November 2nd. So, and then it went on clearance December 22nd. So that's a very short life cycle. Um, the bins is mostly raw donations. It's very rare that I will find something with the thrift store tag on it. But anyway, this is very cute. It's just like a little keyhole um, crop top size large. I don't know if I'm going to bring that consignment or sell it myself yet. This is American Eagle. This is going straight to consignment. And it's like a high, high waisted skinny jean, skinny straight leg. It's kind of both. Um, yeah. And I think they're size double zero. What else do I have in here? These are Babaton trousers. I also need to get a button for, well, I don't really need to, but the like inner button is missing. It still has this and this closure. So they would stay closed if you wore them, but they're a size two. And Babaton is an Aritzia brand. And they're like very nice black trousers. I'll fix those and sell them. Okay. This is kind of crazy. These were given to me by another reseller that was there yesterday. She's like, do you want these? Um, sure. They're like two identical scubas, but they're different sizes and they're more of a periwinkle in real life. Um, this one is a size six. They do have like some damage. So like this one, um, let's see here, like some slight damage there and on the pocket here, you see right here, there's a little bit of damage. It's not horrible, but they're not like new. Um, so this one is a size eight. I mean, a size six. I don't know what, whoa, that was weird. I don't know why I said that. And this one is a size four, I think. Um, yeah, size four and same thing. Like the pocket, not in the best condition, but really like they are very, like they're in wearable condition. They're not, you know, crazy in horrible condition. This one does have a little bit of a hole right here. I didn't notice that. Anyway, they should still sell decently. This 
is, I don't know why I got this. I never picked up this brand. <laughs> I must have just thought it looked cozy and comfy. Um, the brand is 32 degree heat. I've seen this at the Bay though, which is like, you know, they sell nice stuff. And it's this like cranberry color, burgundy, fuzzy fleece. It's a size small. I don't know what my plan was with that, like, tr honestly. This I got for me, it's just like a swim cover-up. <laughs> it's a size medium large. And it just looks really comfortable. Unless I check comps and this, like, randomly goes for a lot of money, I will be keeping it. Like, it just looks very nice for the summer. I'm thinking very summery, if you haven't noticed. This I had to get because my friend um, Jillian just styled one of these on her Instagram and it looked so good. So I have to try to make this look cute. Like tucked into jeans with a little something over top. Love. Okay, what else? These are silver jeans. These will go straight to consignment. The flare. Well, I don't know if they're like, if you would call this flare or boot cat, whatever. They're like, they've got a little bit of, mm, this is why we stopped wearing these and started wearing skinny jeans, but no one will listen to us. Anyway, this is a Lululemon tank top. Oh, uh, where's the logo? There it is. I don't know what size it is. I don't see any. Oh, it's got like a little bit of a tear right here, but that's okay. Um, yeah, there's no size dot or anything like that. Oh, there actually is like holes in here. I didn't notice. So I'll just keep this and wear it camping or something. No biggie. These are Old Navy, but I'm going to bring these to consignment. I just thought they were like a very classic style and they're in basically new condition. It's the Old Navy Pixie Trouser, I think, is what it's called. It's a very popular style. Oh, that's cute. They've got like a little slit on the bottom here. Um, and they're like known for not fading, so that's great. Like they're in very, very good condition. <sighs> So there's that. What else do I have? Um, this Puma sports bra, that's just for me. What's this? This is just a San Francisco shirt, embroidered. <laughs> so I'll sell that myself. Is there anything else in this bag? I don't think so. One bag down. Okay, this is Oaken Fort. It's a sweatshirt or sweater. It's size small. It's just like a knit. It's got like a high low there. Bring that to consignment, see if they want it. This is Moth, which is an array. Uh, Anthropology brand. <laughs> oh, where's the tag? There it is. And it's like a cocoon cardigan. That will also go to consignment. This is Aritzia. No, it's not. It's BDG, which is Nordstrom. I always forget if it's Nordstrom or Urban Outfitters. Uh, it's Urban. Urban Outfitters. Okay. Anyway, BDG. Just like a long sleeve top. Very plain. Size medium. Mm, I'll probably wear that. This is just <laughs> a random free people hat. Is that the inside or outside? Oh, that must be the inside. Clearly my hair is not styled well for this. Imagine if I had a bob. Should I get a bob? I'm getting my hair done on the 19th. The extensions are coming out. We 
we have officially gone off the rails. Anyway, <laughs> this is just a free people hat. This is a Lululemon tank top. I don't know what size this one is either. I didn't check. I don't really care. Like at the bins, I don't really care. If it's in good condition, I'll grab it. And apparently, even if it's not in good condition, I'll grab it. But it's a dollar, so I don't really mind. What else do I have in here? Oh my gosh, I just got everything back in the bag yesterday. Ugh. This is a Tallulah, it's an Aritzia brand. This is going straight to consignment. It's not really my style. It's a dress. So, it's a size large, which like anything above an extra small Aritzia is hard to find. This is another Lululemon top. This like cool teal color, very plain, but that should do okay. Just realized I can't really bring any of this to consignment because they won't take anything that doesn't have a size on it, which like fair enough. <laughs> this is Wilfred, which is a Ritzia size small. This is going to go straight to consignment. This is Roxy. They're just Roxy pants. I'm going to see if the consignment stores want this. But they're like very cute linen, almost like a pinstripe design in there. Um, pants. These feel like they're brand new. They're a size large. Oof. <laughs> so I actually really like these. They feel like brand new. This is a Viva, which is the Lululemon um, girls line. Size 12, a Viva might be like a size 0 to women's. I'll have to check online. But cute. I don't, mm, I don't know if my older niece would fit in that. More Lululemon. These are. I always confuse the groove pant and the astro pant. Either way, these are yoga pants, the flare leg that everyone loves. And these are size six, I think. Did I even check? Where's the pocket? These waistbands are make things impossible to check, but yeah, they're a size six. And these also feel like almost brand new. And like this old um, style kind of feels like a line material. It almost feels like a thicker Nulu fabric, which we all know I love my aligns. This is a Levi's sweater, straight to consignment, size large. Another Lululemon. This is a wrap. I feel like I found a flaw in this, but I don't remember what it was. Um, but anyway, what is it called? Like the coastal wrap or something like that? I know I've sold this before. And they usually do pretty good. So it snaps at the top here. And then it's like a funnel neck and sleeves. Very comfortable. And it's a size. I don't remember actually even looking for the size yesterday. It's so weird. They used to make us wear gloves, but now we don't have to wear them. Very bizarre. Because they were like very on top of that. Like they would get, they would like make sure that everyone was wearing gloves. Even like last time I was there. Uh, size eight. Ooh. Perf. So that, I'll sell that one myself. This is a baby. Oh, I hate that fabric. Oh. <laughs> this is a baby Dakota. <laughs> like open cardigan thing. Where's the tag? <laughs> it like feels like velvet. 
Ooh, I have sensory issues. I hate velvet. This is a size medium, but it's like micro suede. I also don't love suede. So, oh, my sister is the same way. I don't know how that happened, but these are just Lulu shorts. Boom, boom. They're a size four. What else? These are free people corduroy, uh, corduroy pants. They're size 28. I will bring these to consignment. Consignment is like, oh, the zipper's broken. Mm. <laughs> Whoops. These are Hudson jeans and I think these are really cool. I don't really pick up Hudson that much anymore. Only if I like really like the style. They just, oh, these are pinned. I thought they were like sewn like this. Okay. This is so cool, but also so weird. Okay, let me undo one and see what it looks like. Hopefully I don't hurt myself with one of these safety pins. I can always use safety pins. What a bonus, honestly. Thank you to this person. They are so handy to have around. Did I get them all? Here's another one. I know the suspense is killing you, right? You want to see these pants? Okay, so they're not actually, uh, I see what happened. Okay, so mm, this is so weird. So these are called the Midrise Mia Five Pocket Flare. So this is what they look like. And then this is what they look like when I pick them up. This is rolled up. I didn't realize they were pinned like this. But I undid this side and I think I figured out why they did that because there's a stain here. So I will stain treat that and see what happens. But like, that's weird that they have this like plaid on that side. Did someone do that at home? I'm so confused. How was that added? And you can't even, s oh, you can kind of see it on the other side. Weird. I'll figure that out. These are TNA leggings. These usually do okay. Like I'll bring these to consignment, see if they want them. If not, I'll sell them for like $15 on Poshmark. This is a Patagonia, which is crazy. Like this bin was picked over. I don't know what was going on yesterday, but this is a size small and it's a Patagonia fleece. Like how cute is this thing? And it's in great condition. As far as I can see, I do miss things sometimes, but from what I can see, it's fine. <laughs> it's another Lululemon. Who's donating all this? It's a bra. Um, yeah, and this one is, I think, it's a 36E, which is great. I'll get that listed soon um what's this oh this is spiritual gangster i've never found that brand before and it's a tank top tank top that just says give love that's so it like shows up a lot more on the ring light than it does in person that's funny these are more lululemon leggings if i was i feel like this is the kind of Lululemon that someone would list as rare, even though it's not rare, it's just old. So it's got like this at the waistband, which I think someone would be like, ooh, I can list it for more. And it's like, what? I see some weird stuff, man. Um, These are a size six. So these are like the same thing, yoga pants in very good condition. Okay, this is a Levi's shirt and it's so cool. Um, it's just like a button down, 
but it's got this tag on it that I've never seen before that says we represent a jeans cult, a tough look distinguished by its selected fabrics born and worn in America. I've never seen that before. I do need to research that, but I just thought it was neat. Oh my gosh, I'm making the biggest mess and then I'm leaving today for four days. <laughs> Um, these are Fabletics sweats. They are a size small. Oh my god, there's... Never mind. <laughs> um, and they just look so comfortable. They're very, very soft. This is Dolan Dress, which can be in an anthropology brand. This one specifically isn't but it has been sold at Anthro before. Um, I'll bring the stick consignment. It's just like a ribbed fit and flare <laughs> dress and it's a size extra large, which we love to see. This is the other pair of TNA leggings. I used to have a pair of TNA leggings like myself forever ago. A lot of people don't realize some of them are cut at the bottom and that's on purpose. Like they have notches. Oh, let me sh show you. They have notches on here so that you can actually cut them to whatever length you want. And they don't fray. So if you see a pair and they're cut, that's like, that's kind of supposed to be like that. Um, this is, what is this? Oh my gosh. No, but seriously. <laughs> Okay, this is Wilfred. It's a size small. <laughs> it's an Ar <laughs> Wilfred is an Aritzia brand, if you didn't know. Um, and it's just like a bet. This is like very freakishly like a top I used to own. That's gonna go straight to consignment. This is Arden Arden. Depends where you grew up. It's a size extra small, but I had to get this. I'll bring this to consignment. They're like less worried about brands and more about like style. So I think that might do okay there. Um, these are just American Eagle <laughs> jeans. I think they're a size 12. Indeed. It's crazy how I can remember that. Like, I don't know. It's just weird to me that I remember that from yesterday. Like I checked the, the size of everything and I just like remember. Jean shorts. This is another one of those things I just got to research. Also, a Value Village tag on it. The bins I go to are not Value Village outlet. So that's kind of weird. But this is called Mary and Mary. And it just looked interesting. So it's like this neon yellow top. But then like, it's got this on the back with a slit, like what? So interesting, very cool. I like things like that. Okay, this bag is empty, but something fell out. It's just a Wilfred free skirt from Aritzia that's gonna go to consignment. It's an extra small. Okay, I've got one bag left which is all shoes. Okay, I also got this coat, which I'm like actually obsessed with. It is just Cherokee, which is like not an expensive brand, but it's reversible and it's like leopard print faux fur. I'm gonna wash this before I go today so I can wear it when I come home. Cause it's so freaking cool. Like what? I love that. Someone needs to ask me out on a date so I can wear that. <laughs> okay. Let's get into the shoes. Let me put, put this bag down. There's a few I like kind of want to save for later. Okay, actually, I don't know. Everything is so good. I took the elastics off everything. Okay, this brand I've never found before, but I feel like it's a bolo brand um it's called camper so this is what it looks like and these are like basically new like they're 
they've got like a little dust in them. They do have some toe prints actually, but nothing crazy, honestly. And these are a size, I don't know, 39. Okay, what else? What else have I got in here? These are Seychelles, which is an, uh, why do I keep saying that? An anthropology brand. And they're these red booties. They're a size eight and a half. They have seen a little bit better days, but I should be able to clean that. Maybe I'll just take a nail file to it and just see if I can just remove some of that. Cause I live on the edge. So very cute. These are gonna go to consignment. They're Michael Kors boots. They're a size and like they snap, but they they should be like very warm. They're like very fuzzy inside. I don't know what size they are, but I would say like maybe a seven and a half. I do need to condition them. And then I'll bring them to consignment. What else is this is kind of crazy to me. So I was going through the regular bins, like the clothing bins, the textiles, and there was like, I just saw one of these peeking out and I was like, oh, what is that? And then, well, actually, okay, I saw this and Vibram soles are like usually pretty good. So I was like, oh, let me see what that is. And it's just a whole pair of Hoka hiking shoes. Never found this brand before. I do see that there is like somewhere on this side, but they're in pretty good condition, honestly. The actual like upper of the shoe is really good. There's somewhere I see now, right here. But I think they'll still do okay. Hoka's. I'll say, what else do I have in here? These are Urban Outfitters. They're a size seven. And there are these little booties. There is like a dark spot right here. Not a huge deal. Um, yeah, very cute. And the bottoms. Wins wanted $9 for these. I would have paid $9 for these at the thrift store. 100%. So they just didn't find the right buyer. These were on the floor December 3rd. So they were like really just trying to pump the inventory through apparently. That's crazy. These are, these were in the, oh. <laughs> so I found those hokas in a reusable bag. I never finished telling you the story. So I like open up the bag and there's those and these, which are Merrill hiking boots and these are like leather um they also have a vibram sole on these like need a little clean but in very good condition they are not worn in the same places that the hokas are so um and this is it says arctic grip it's very cool there is some wear like on the inside you can tell that these were worn <laughs> obviously and they're a size nine, actually. These are my size. Mm. Very interesting. I actually need hiking boots. I have hiking shoes that are hand-me-downs from my mom, but I don't have hiking boots. Anyway, what more do I have in here? So this is another brand I need to research. Um, I think it's called... I don't know, actually. So this is... The tag, it's also on here. These are a size, not sure, but anyway, <laughs> the bottoms are, they're not clean, but they're like not too worn. And the upper of the boots also looks in very good condition. These look like Nubuck um, and these are waterproof. Let me see if I can find the size. Oh, uh, US 8. These I just thought were the cutest things ever. These will be perfect for Stampede. 
Like, these are so cute. <laughs> these, I don't know. I just like needed to get these. They're Cole Haan and they're like flip flops, but they're the Nike Air line that they have. So they're like athletic flip flops. I don't know. I just thought they were so cool. <laughs> and they're size eight. Um, these are Steve Madden. These are going to go straight to the consignment store. They're like pink velvet sneakers. I'll clean up the bottoms. That'll take me two seconds with some acetone. These are also going straight to consignment. Um, another pair of Steve Madden flats. Pointed toe. Same thing. I'll clean up the bottom. It'll take me two seconds. And these are a size seven and a half. What else? I got these in the off chance that they might fit me. They're soft mock. But there seems to be like a lot of, like the dye has like bled into the sheepskin on this side. And on this side. Somehow not on this one at all. I don't know what size these are size eight so yeah they were i tried them on they were a little tight on me um so we'll see what i do with those i also got okay we're down to like the really good stuff these really cute fry pumps i mean oh and they say sample on the bottom i've never seen a fry sample before actually so that's interesting. I'll have to Google that. Google. Cause yeah, I don't know what size these are. Whatever. They are so cute. I'll figure it out. I always do. <laughs> and these were like worn. Like you can tell someone wore these. Anyway, I think they're so cute. I also got, speaking of fry, these sneakers these do fit me so these might stay with me and they're like kind of a lavender color there is definitely some color transfer on there um but like if I just wear them myself I don't really care which is weird because I'm usually an eight and a half nine and these I can't zip them up but they definitely fit We'll see what happens with those. Also found these, which I can't, these were in the bin that the other lady was going through. So I don't know what she was doing. <laughs> she wasn't paying attention. Because these are not what you think of when you think of Uggs, but they are Uggs and they are sheepskin lined. This is exact, oh, I love this kind of boot, but they're like, a riding boot but with sheepskin are you kidding me that would be so comfortable they've got this lace up at the back but they do um zip open and closed they could use a little bit of love on the toes here for sure um they're a size seven and a half i think because i tried them on and they don't fit me at all but oh someone's really lucky that i found these because they look so comfortable. Okay, we're down to the bottom two. These, I can't believe I found them like the 12th time I dug into those bins. And they're my size. So these for sure I am keeping for myself because I've always been on the hunt for a size of or a pair of Tory Burch Miller sandals for myself. I've looked on Poshmark. I've looked everywhere. I've almost even bought them retail and then just didn't. Like, I don't know what size these are, but they fit me. They must be like a nine. Because I can't see it on the actual sandal, like in here. I can't see it. Oh, we're at 44 minutes. Bear with me. I have one pair of boots left. I mean, I feel like I felt like that was 15 minutes. <laughs> 
this is crazy. So my friend was helping me try to find the aforementioned work boot that I never found. And then she gave up and went to look at the clothing bins again. And I was like, girl, you're going to be really mad that you gave up helping me because when I saw this, I was like, is this a joke right now? Like, really? Did I just find Fluvog at the bins? That's crazy. Like, that is absolute madness. And they're in perfect condition. That's very cool. They have, like, a little, like, they are studded on the back, but the stud is covered with the leather. This is very, if you don't know John Fluvog, Google them right now. It's a Canadian brand of shoes and boots that are collector's items. Like, people collect these shoes. They will be searching for them. If you find these in any condition, they will sell. I have found Fluvog pumps that were missing an insole and were painted. And they weren't even painted that well. And they sold for $130 within two days. So, I mean, if you find them in your, your size by all means keep them. If you find them and they're not your size, sell them. Um, someone will be very, very, very happy that you found them for them. So last but not least, these Fluvog boots. That's everything I got. So, I mean, when I said I was being picky, I think I still did a pretty good job being picky. Um, like, you know, I could have gotten a lot more stuff at the bins, but I was very focused on only like very good items that I would be excited to list or the kind of like mid tier items that I think the consignment store will want to buy from me. So that's that. I think I'll upload this one first. So I did a poll on Instagram to see, I was filming this and an unboxing and to see which one people wanted to see first. And I think people want this one. So I will upload this one. And yeah, that's, ooh, I need to put all this away now. But this is everything I got and I'm excited to see how much I make from consignment. So everything is a dollar. So I paid $72 out of my pocket for these items and like just the flu vogs will pay for that haul three times well not three times twice <laughs> like that's crazy and then everything else is well that's already pure profit and then everything else is like really profit so that's really exciting it was one of those hauls where i was like oh like i was at the right place at the right time and you know i hate saying that reselling is luck but yesterday was a really lucky day but also it is and it isn't like you know if you don't know looking at this shoe that this is something you need to investigate that's not luck that is brand knowledge and that comes with experience and that comes with research you know like i said someone else was looking through the shoes and left these and i'm like these are uggs like what are you doing so it is luck but it it's luck that you're in the right place at the right time, but also like just knowing your stuff is the biggest part of everything. So with that, I'll let you go. Um, I need to probably start getting ready for work and I will upload this video and I can't wait to see what you guys have to say about what I got. And yeah, let me know like if you sell to consignment, that's kind of what I want to do more of now. So we'll see when I go next weekend. I'm excited to see how much I make. But yeah, if there's anything in this haul that you're interested in, shoot me a DM. My US Posh closet is closed right now just because the road to and from the uh, cross-border courier is sketchy. But if there's anything you want, let me know. We'll figure something out. And yeah. All right, I hope everyone has a great week and I will see you later.